the relationship between hardware and software. Processing of software instructions by hardware. How does hardware process a software instruction? Software instructions are processed by the CPU, the central processing unit, which is the piece of hardware that carries out the instructions of any computer program. Instructions processed by the CPU are always in machine language, which, which is basically ones and zeros. This is all the CPU can understand. To carry out each and every machine language instruction, the fetch execute cycle is used. The fetch execute cycle. What is the fetch execute cycle? The fetch execute cycle is a basic operation cycle of a computer. During the fetch execute cycle, the computer retrieves a program instruction from its memory. It then establishes and carries out the actions that are required for that instruction. The cycle of fetching, decoding, and executing an instruction is continually repeated by the CPU whilst the computer is turned on. Let's go through the cycle step by step. Fetch instruction. This is the first step of the cycle. It is where the CPU receives instructions from a system's hard drive or solid state drive and stores them into a register location. The second part of the cycle is a decode instruction where the CPU determines which system components are required in the execution of the instruction. The last part of the cycle is the execute instruction. This is where the CPU assigns the specific actions to the rele relevant system components to carry out the initial program instructions. The initiation and running of an application by the operating system. First, we need to know what OS is. The operating system is basically the master program that decides on how software gets to use hardware. The operating system is able to locate the application through the computer's memory, which leads to, which leads the software to the central processing, processing unit, where it runs. This essentially means that we get to locate and load applications through the operating system. To understand the relationship between software and hardware, the hardware's role during the fetch execute cycle must first be identified. As, previ as previously mentioned, the fetch execute cycle is a procedure. It's a procedure the CPU follows from boot up until the shutdown of a computer in order to process instructions. During the first step, fetch, the CPU's role is to gather data and instruction from the main memory and to store them into its own internal memory areas or registers, making use of the address bus, which is a vital hardware path. The CPU places the address of the next item to be fetched onto the address bus. This address is then moved from the main memory into another hardware path. It is then in the second step where the CPU makes sense of the newly received information and decodes the instruction while also preparing for the next step. The final stage, execute, is where the data processing actually takes place. The instruction is carried out based on the data received and is stored into another register. Upon the completion of this step, the CPU once again sets itself up in preparation for another cycle. So what is the relationship between software and hardware? Software controls computer hardware. These two components are complementary and aren't able to act independently. In order for a computer to effectively manipulate data and to produce useful output, its hardware and software must collaborate. Without software, computer hardware is useless. Similarly, computer software cannot be used without supporting hardware. Computer software must first be loaded into the computer's hardware and then be executed.